so welcome back uh, this is a video that I actually filmed a long time ago um, apologies in advance for the audio it's terrible um, and some of the angles and stuff is pretty bad but it's actually me putting a DC5 type R LSD in this DC5 uh, base model uh, gearbox so my advice for you if you're doing this uh, putting an LSD in is just take your time if something feels like it's being forced don't force it anymore um, I had major issues I make it look easy in this video because I cut out all my kind of the problems I had but getting the case and closing the case back together I had uh, major major issues I had to have it um, together in a part a few times um, the key is to keep your shifter selectors uh, in neutral um, and drop the case on but don't force it down too much you'll see me in the video you know kind of using my uh, my rattle gun on it probably don't advise doing that just uh, gently gently pull the two halves together um, it's not that hard nothing that hard in there um, but just take your time cheers guys These have a little spring ball in them. Two like that. Spring, and then there's a little ball bearing in there too. So we'll just put those somewhere safe. So on the end of the case is a H14 uh, hex bolt. You just loosen that. Inside of there you can see that circuit clip. And you just basically need to pull that apart um, before you split the box in two. tweaking that came off uh, no. that 
just sits there by the looks of it. So I'm just going to take off the reverse. reverse um, selector. So now, I think this whole lot could come out in one shot. What I might do is like try and tape it together so that I can pull it out. Maybe electrical tape. It's the best way of doing it, but I want to try and keep them all together. There we go. That's what the gear set looks like when it's out. The gears actually look okay. Which is good. So we're going to be taking this out to replace that. That's the diff. That's an open diff, so we'll be putting the LSD one in there. Don't know if there's much else to show in here. I'll give it a good clean out before I put it back together. So this is the new one I've got, the new LSD, which looks good. Uh, first, I've got to take this ring here off, and. Some of them are actually reverse thread. But they have a little arrow on the on there, the reverse thread. So you just got to be careful of that. So it's actually nice that the guy who's provided me this provided me the bolts because they're a slightly bit bigger. Um, and I think that's because the thickness of this of this plate here is thicker. So yeah, you can see. Can you see that? As thickness is different.
nice and through them, so that's good. So I've got the gear set back in. Um, you have to hold, kind of hold all three to do it, and you plop it back in, and it took me ages. Um, there must be some art to it, but I haven't got it. That's probably the hardest bit of the uh, whole thing right now. Um, I've given this a quick paint up, and I'll put this on, and then I'll paint the uh, other side to make it look a bit prettier. Uh, I've done up the reverse gear lockout. Uh, I think I've got to make sure this points in the right direction. I'm not sure which direction that points in, but I've got to make sure that points in the right direction. Um, and I've done all this up. Uh, the little tray is back in. So I'll go ahead and I'll put this back on here. So I don't have any, I don't have any Honda Bond, but I've got this stuff, which is supposed to be the next best stuff. So I'm going to smear some of that around the, around here. I've given this a clean off. Um, and yeah I'll just smear it on there and then we'll hopefully sandwich it together so I've just smeared a layer of the, the sealer around there um, and now I'm going to plonk this uh, the other side on the other half of the housing on long bolts in there and then the rest are all the same um, yeah we've got this So I'm just doing up the last of these bolts. I, I used a few uh, to kind of pull it on. I don't know whether you meant to do that, but that's how I did it. Um, so I'm just going to put the rest of them in now. Um, you, have to, you have to open up um, that clip as you do it. 